Hi guys, my name's Kelvin. I'm with bushlifenewzealand.com. Today I want to do a video on one of my favourite pets, the Helican Tex Groundhog Bat. Uh, this is a really cool, really uh, very versatile little uh, day pack, sort of EDC pack. I use it for loads of stuff. Um, use it out on the hill or around town or at work. Um, it's got loads of features and we'll go through them together. So the pack itself is made of uh, ripstop uh, nylon. Uh, it has uh, Wujan buckles and um, the zips are from YKK. The pack itself is 46 centimeters high and is 23 centimeters wide and is um, without this bellows pocket is nine centimeters deep. The uh, basic pack is, uh, has a capacity of about 10 litres, but you can expand on that and we'll, we'll go through it. Alright, let's start with the back. On the back here we have these uh, lightly padded and contoured shoulder straps. This is only a 10 litre pack, so these don't need to be uh, too crazy uh, or too big and bulky. They work really well. Uh, they're nice and thin, so they're out of the way, <coughs> uh, but they do have some padding, so they're quite comfortable. On the inside there we have the spacer mesh and over here we have uh, a chest strap. The chest strap has uh, some elastic on it so it's got a bit of give uh, which is quite nice and uh, there we can see the Wujan buckles. Um, down here uh, the strap's adjustable with a simple ladder lock type setup and uh, one feature that I like um, about Helican is they usually have these uh, adjustment keepers on there so if your straps are too long you can just roll them up and uh, keep them nice and organized. Down here at the bottom we have a uh, waist strap. Uh, it's not a whole lot of use to be honest, it's only um, half inch webbing but it is there if you need it and uh, again it's got uh, the keeper so it's, uh, you don't have to worry about big long uh, straps dangling. The back of the pack is uh, spacer mesh, and as you can see, I've had this quite a while, so it is a bit worn. I probably had this about uh, four years. This is one of the first products that we bought in, so I've, I've had it quite a while. Uh, one thing that I like about Helican is that they don't skimp on the frames in, in their packs, so that even a, a little pack like this, uh, which you would probably more often than not expect them to just not even have a frame, they have a, a sheet of a plastic or type material in there. And it just gives it some rigidity and uh, structure. And uh, we'll, we'll have another look at that when the pack's empty. <clears throat> but what it does is it just means that the pack's nice and comfortable to carry. On top we have a nice carry handle, which is good for like hanging off hooks and things. And then at the top we have a uh, pass-through for uh, your uh, hydration tubes for camelbacks and so on. On the front of the pack, is uh, a really cool gusseted pocket and when you're not using it this just falls down to nothing it can actually hold quite a bit of gear in there though so here we have a uh, merino beanie a pair of gloves and a, a wind runner and then in the mesh pocket here uh, i have a knife space blanket snack bar because we can't have too many snacks a leatherman and a uh, torch. So quite a, a decent amount of gear that you can fit in there. I mean uh, you're not using it, <clears throat> it just folds away. And like you can see it, it measures about nine centimeters in uh, a depth. Another nice feature is the uh, mesh beaver tail. So this is a uh, great to carry like extra gear or clothing what have you, especially if it's wet. <clears throat> like maybe you've been to uh, a swimming hole or a creek or something or even a swimming pool and now you've got some wet clothes or togs um, for your trip back. Uh, in here, the beaver tail works with these straps here and they've just got hooks on them and they just hook up with the uh, frame there. So it's just another option. 
like I said, it's very versatile. There's loads of ways to, uh, well, even though it's a small bag, you can actually carry quite a bit of stuff in it when you use all the features. Uh, personally, I don't use this too much, but it is nice to have. And again, just tucks out away. You wouldn't even know it was there, really. Quite unobtrusive. <clears throat> On the sides, we have these uh, pass-through pockets. Um, at the bottom there, so for things like ice axes, tomahawks, uh, walking sticks, and what have you. And then on top of that, we have some uh, Molly Light um, Pals type weaving for, yeah, it's a standard width. And then for the height, it works out well for that. But instead of using uh, one inch weaving, they're, they're trying to save weight and they've made it a half inch. This here is the competition uh, med pouch. Uh, we've done a video on this, and it's a great little pouch, uh, medical pouch. So that's quite easy, you could uh, attach that via the PALS weaving if you wanted. Or you could put a utility pouch there, a uh, water bottle pouch, or what have you. <coughs> Another cool thing is, down here on each side we have these uh, zippered mesh pockets. So in there, we keep uh, this mesh panel. And what you can do is use that to carry things like uh, water bottles. And then, uh, so we put our a water bottle or item in the mesh pocket, and then we can uh, cinch up the adjustment strap, and that will stop it from uh, flopping around. You can adjust the size using these draw cords. Which is really handy. So you can take uh, carry quite a bit of gear in there. Here we have a, a jet foil stove. And if you adjust the pocket properly, uh, that works out quite nice. So we can have that there. Just like that. And very minimal flop. Uh, it's not going to move around on you too much. Depends what you're doing really. If you're, you're running down the hill then everything's going to shake a little bit. And then another option is the Pathfinder Canteen Cook Set. Uh, these are great bits of, bits of kit. You have a uh, 1.15 litre canteen and then over here you have uh, a cup or a cooking vessel and then you can use this as a stove. Uh, these come with a uh, lid as well to go on top, uh, but I have, don't have that at the minute. And again, these will fit in there quite nicely. And then we can uh, just adjust it with the, uh, the strap. And that will keep it nice and secure. These are really cool pockets. Uh, again, I don't use them a lot, but they are there. Uh, for when you need them and like I said even though it's a small pack officially it's like 10 litres but really you can uh, carry quite a bit of stuff in these if you're not using the pocket just take that away and again you wouldn't even know it was there all right the main pocket <coughs> So the zip opens halfway down, so it's nice and easy access, and it uh, gives you uh, a quick access, which is quite nice. Uh, in here, I've got a fleece beanie, some emergency food, a pair of binos, a poncho, and uh, a wolfhound hoodie. So this is a great bit of warm kit. So really, I got everything. You know, we've got food. Um, we've got water, we've got shelter, we've got warm kit, and uh, you know, we've got a way to cook as well. <clears throat> and, and all this in just like a, a small pack. I'll try and show you the frame. So that is uh, reasonably rigid, but not too much, it's just a, a, a plastic sheet really, but it gives it a nice structure. At the top here, we have a loop 
for your camelbacks or hydro packs. So all in all, uh, a really handy, useful little pack. It's one of those ones that um, you just find more and more uses for it the longer that you have it. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope this was uh, useful. Um, if you end up on the website, make sure you check out our, uh, sign up for our email list. Uh, loads of cool promotions and uh, cool stories in there as well worth checking out. As always, hit the hills, live the bush life. Cheers guys.